Have you ever wondered if we could influence the weather? Cloud seeding is a technique to enhance precipitation from existing clouds. This process involves dispersing substances into the air, acting as cloud condensation or ice nuclei to alter precipitation. Cloud seeding works by introducing artificial nuclei into clouds, providing a surface for water molecules to condense or freeze, crucial for precipitation. Without these nuclei, precipitation might not occur, even if clouds are present and contain moisture. The process targets cloud formations with supercooled liquid water, where seeding agents provide a landing pad for water molecules to form ice particles. These ice crystals then grow into snowflakes, becoming heavy enough to fall as precipitation. It's important to note that cloud seeding cannot create clouds. It can only enhance existing ones with sufficient moisture. Common seeding agents include silver iodide, which acts as an ice-forming nuclei due to its crystalline structure similar to ice. Other agents are dry ice, which rapidly cools the air, and hygroscopic materials like table salt that attract moisture. Dispersion methods vary, from aircraft releasing agents directly into cloud systems to ground-based generators. Drones can deliver electric charges, and rockets are also used to deploy seeding agents into target clouds. There are different techniques, such as static seeding, which encourages ice particle formation in supercooled clouds to increase precipitation. Dynamic seeding enhances convective cloud development, while hygroscopic seeding introduces salt particles to merge water droplets in warm clouds. Cloud seeding has several applications, including drought mitigation by enhancing rainfall, especially for agriculture. It's also used for water supply augmentation, increasing mountain snowpack to supplement natural water sources. Other uses include hail suppression to minimize crop damage, fog dispersal around airports, and even temporary air pollution control. The effectiveness of cloud seeding remains a subject of ongoing debate, with studies offering mixed results. Its success depends on factors like moisture-rich clouds, favorable wind patterns, and suitable humidity levels. Environmental and health impacts are generally considered minimal, but concerns exist regarding potential accumulation of agents like silver iodide. Ethical and legal concerns also arise regarding the manipulation of weather systems and potential impacts on rainfall patterns in neighboring regions. Cloud seeding experiments date back to the 1940s and are now used in over 50 countries for various purposes. In the United States, states like California, Colorado, and Texas have active programs, while India has used it for drought management since the 1950s. The UAE is also a pioneer in using this technology to address its water challenges, showcasing its global